hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have 8 to the power of m equals to m to the power of 12 and we solve this problem for all the values of m and i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so uh, the very first uh, the very first thing we are going to do is here first our first target is to uh, move the variable terms uh, in the right hand side and we move the constant term in the left hand side for this we need to move this m to the right hand side first uh, so uh, for this we need to take the mth root on both of the sides or in other words we need to take uh, power 1 over m on both of the sides so when we take uh, 1 over m power on both of the sides then it will be written as m to the power of 12 and its whole power is 1 over m okay here i can just uh, take uh, 1 over m power on both of the sides and now here in the next step we need to apply here the nice exponent law you know that if we have a to the power of x to the power of y it is equals to a to the power of x multiplied by y now so according to this uh, exponent law uh, we need to multiply these two exponents and after multiplying these two exponents it will be written as 8 to the power of m multiplied by 1 over m equals to m to the power of 12 multiplied by 1 over m so here in the left hand side you see that this m and m are cancelled out by each other and we get here only 8 in the left hand side and in the right hand side we can apply um, again this uh, exponent law in the reciprocal side uh, in, from right side to left side here you see that if you have uh, a to the power of uh, uh, x times of y then we can write it as a to the power of x to the power of y so here we move 1 over m inside the term and it will be written as m to the power of 1 over m and its whole exponent is 12 so here our first claim is to move the variable term to the right hand side is uh, is okay and now here we move towards our second claim so our second claim is that we move the constant terms in the left hand side so for this we need to move this 12 to the left hand side in order to remove this 12 from right hand side we need to take the 12th root on both of the sides so when you take the 12th root it means that we need to take a 12th 1 over 12th power on both of the sides so it will be written as m to the power of 1 over m and its whole power is 12 and its whole power is 1 over 12. So further in the next step uh, we need uh, to simplify the terms and we have 8 to the power of 1 over 12 is equals to here we again apply the nice exponent law and it will be written as m to the power of 1 over m and it is multiplied by 12 multiplied by 1 over 12 so now here in the next step you see here uh, this 12 and this 12 are cancelled out by each other and we will get here 8 to the power of 1 over 12 equals to m to the power of 1 over m now you see here we move our variable terms to the right hand side and we move our constant terms in the left hand side and here uh, if you focus in the right hand side you see here the exponent is the reciprocal of its base so now here we need to make this type of same conditions in the right hand side uh, so uh, for this uh, here uh, we need uh, some working on the base of this term and we have the base of this term is 8 and we write this 8 as uh, uh, 2 cubed we write the prime factors of 8 as 2 cubed and its whole exponent is 1 over 12 equals to m to the power of 1 over m and here we have exponent to the exponent terms then we have the exponents are multiplied by each other and it will be written as 3 to the power of 1 over 12 equals to m to the power of 1 over m and now you see here this is 2 times of 4 uh, 3 times of 4 becomes 12 so we obtain here 2 to the power of 1 over 4 equals to m to the power of 1 over m and now we are ready to uh, make uh, the left hand side uh, be the exponent the exponent of left hand side is the reciprocal of its base so for this uh, we need to multiply and divide the exponent of this 2 by 2 
and it will be written as 2 to the power of 2 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 4 and it is equals to m to the power of 1 over m and this equation is implies that here we need to move this 2 inside the term and it will be written as 2 square and its whole power is 1 over uh, this is uh, 2 multiplied by 4 and it is equals to m to the power of 1 over m and now here further in the next step you see here this 2 square becomes 4 and its exponent is 1 over 2 times of 4 becomes 8 and it is equals to m to the power of 1 over m and now uh, we uh, can just uh, repeat this process now until uh, we get here the exponent is the reciprocal of its base so that now we again repeat the above process then now again we multiply and divide the exponent of 4 by 2 and it will be written as 4 to the power of 2 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 8 is equals to m to the power of 1 over m and now you see here uh, we again move this 2 inside the term and it will be written as 4 square and its whole power is 1 over this is 2 multiplied by 8 and it is equals to m to the power of 1 over m and now here further in the next step you see here this 4 square becomes 16 to the power of 1 over 2 times of 8 becomes 16 and it is equals to m to the power of 1 over m and now we are ready to compare the base and its exponent so that when you compare its bases we get here our m equals to 16 and when you compare the exponents then you get here 1 over m is equals to 1 over 16. So from, from both of these cases we easily get the value of m is equals to 16. So this is the final value of m and now here in the next step we need to uh, verify this value of m is this value of m satisfied our given question statement or not. So, in order to verify uh, the value of m, we first need to copy down the given question statement here. It is 8 to the power of m equals to m to the power of 12. And here we put uh, the value of m equals to 16 on both of the sides and it will be written as 8 to the power of 16 equals to 16 to the power of 12. Uh, so, here uh, we need uh, more working. Uh, to make the both of the sides are same so uh, for this uh, here uh, we, we can just uh, rewrite the terms as so that here we need to uh, write the basis of both of these terms as in the, into the prime factors form so we write 8 into prime factor form r2 to the power of 3 and its exponent is 16 and if we write the 16 into uh, the form of prime factors it will be written as 2 to the power of 4 and its whole power is 12. So we know that if you have exponent to the exponents then these exponents are multiplied by each other and we get here 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 16 equals to 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 12. And now you see here 2 to the power of 3 times of 16 becomes 48 and 4 times of 12 is also becomes here 48. So this shows that uh, the value of m equals to 16 satisfied the given question statement. And this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.